Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative TV YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. Where I do makeup content, the latest, it hasn't been a lot. And today I'm not flirting with you, I just have something in this eye that makes me crazy. I guess it's a cat hair or an eyelash, but like I can't find it. And it's getting so freaking annoying. But okay, that wasn't the thing that I wanted to talk to, to you today. That wasn't the thing that this video is going to be about. I am today doing uh, multiple looks with one palette. And as for normal, it is as it has been. Now the latest is, I don't know how many looks this will be. Maybe two, maybe three. We will just have to wait and see. The palette I'm doing this with is with the Giant Wolf from Odin's Eye. This is a collab between my friend Annette from Let's Makeup Corner and Odin's Eye. And yeah, it is a really dark palette, kind of grungy palette with some what it looks like amazing shimmers. I have only done one look with this. I did a first impression, I can leave it up here, and that was also a first impression with Odin's Eye for me. So I'm going to start with these looks, so if you want to see multiple looks with this, just keep on watching. For my first look, I want to use this Eternal, because it looks amazing, and what I have heard, it is amazing. So I think I will do a half cut crease, and I think I will use this one as well and maybe one of these two to deepen it down but I think we just will start and I will start with this in my crease and we will just see where this takes me and I am not putting up that many videos right now I'm not going to talk about this so much in this video because this is a multiple looks but um you might think that I should have time to clean my brushes. I guess I have time, but I am not doing it. But I have run them through the color swift that I have. One of these, the, this is actually the road as I as well. And it's a little lifesaver when it comes to a lazy person. So I really don't hope it gets, it shouldn't be like any colors from the earlier thing that I used this brush with. It doesn't seem to be it now. I like this color. I am not like super filled with pink, but this isn't like super bright pink. And I think it's leaning a little bit purple, so purpley pink. Fuchsia, maybe? And I've started to realize that, like, I'm getting older. <laughs> when I do this, my eyeshadow lies in my folds up here. But so far, so good. So I think I actually want to continue with this shade onto my lid. And then deepen it down with, I think I will take this howling, 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 howling. And deepen it down, but I will go in with this, cut my crease and then take eternal this one. And we will see how this will turn out. I do really like this shade in my crease. So we will see on my lid. And I think I don't mind if I'm going to take the shimmer one like on top of this one because I think it can look really really cool. So it will take rather much and then I will cut over this because I'm using a glitter primer from NYX to do my cut crease. I don't know if it is more like a topper shade or not but I think I sh maybe could have liked taking this one all over my lid. 
and then put the shimmer on top, but that's not the way I do it right now. As you might as you might see. The question is now, do I want to cut my crease and do the shimmer or do I want to deepen it down? I think I might deepen down first. So I will take this one, as I have already told you a thousand times. You will see. I used the black in my first impression and it was black. So I don't know how dark this is. Kind of dark, but like not too much. I think it lays over really, really good. It doesn't feel like I need to blend that much. It feels like I can just put this on top of the pink shade. And this does the work for me. I do like colors like that. Okay. This is really... It looks really good right now, so I'm going in with my NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to cut this. I'm taking a small brush from Nabla. Whatever you have, I think this might... Yeah, this is a lash line smudger. For me, it is a cut crease cutter, and I do this my own way. So if you want any tips how to do makeup, this is the wrong channel for you. And then we're going in with this eternal, and I don't know about this brush. I never used this brush for this it works really good this is a soft dab and smudge brush from Nabla I'm pleasantly surprised about this brush and the shade it looks really really good okay they look pretty amazing together this matte shade and this it is a duochrome. I'm just going in with the matte shade. Just a little, 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 little bit on my brush. And then take it over the shimmer just to really get them to like fuse together. And I hope that you can see this. It looks freaking amazing. So I will actually do the other cut, half cut crease off cam, fix my base and try to use a lip. It's, it's for some reason really hard for me now to use a lipstick. I don't know why. But I will do that and then I'll come back with the first look. And so far, I'm loving this eye. It is exactly, maybe even better what I expected because I swatched a little bit before I start to film. And I was like, this is going to look so good. And this, <clears throat> it looks amazing. The look is done and I love this. For my waterline, I used Amethyst Hour from Colourpop. On my lips, I took two things. Yeah. <laughs> Mellow Mauve Matte Stick from LH Cosmetics and Lucid Lip from Kaleidos in Crystallize. And I don't know, it's like gloss lips my thing now. Don't know. So yeah, maybe I can take the palette. So yeah, this is my first look with the Giant Wolves palette. So I did use... I don't know about this palette because if I hold it like this, it blocks my lamps. And if I hold it like this, it's... Yeah, maybe this... This feels strange. I'm right-handed. Maybe this should feel better holding it with my right hand if I'm right-handed. 
Okay, um, the colors I have used is Blaze Eternal, which is an amazing shade, and Howling uh, to deepen it down. It was really good as well. Can you even see a shit? So yeah, this is my first look, and I I do really love this look. I think the shimmer one is amazing. I also took it in like my inner corners. I think it looks kind of good. Maybe not the best shade to have in your inner corners, but I do really love this look. And so far, I'm so impressed. And also, uh, this little brush from Nabla. The soft dab and smudge. Amazing for cut crease. I don't know why I have never tested it before. I do. I do really like it. So if you want to see any more looks with this palette, just keep on watching. It's time for the second look with the Giant Wolf from Aura's Eye. And I want to do a Halo Eye. And I... I don't really know, but I think I want to take this one, like, in my halo, and I think this cosmos on the edges, and then might take this azure in my inner crease, or my inner corner, something like that at least, but I'm going to start with cosmos on my outer part of my eyelid and on the inner part of my eyelid. So I guess this shade is going to be pretty pigmented. Yes. So far, I think I've used all the darkest shades. I can't remember if I used this dark green one, but all the others and they are really Really pigmented, and I don't know, maybe Odin's eyes eyeshadow are like this. This is the first palette I've tried, and this is so far the only palette I've tried. I have the Urd as well, but I haven't tried it yet. And I don't know how I want this halo to be. I think I'm going to start like this. Maybe I should do like a really sharp halo. And don't take any shade in my crease. I don't know. I want to see if I can take this bigger brush and have it on the inner part of my eye lid as well. And it works. Okay, so I'm going to try to not take it too much. Or like take it too far in. But I'm going to cut the halo because I really wanted to <laughs> show off. Maybe I'm going to try to do a bigger halo than I usually do. Maybe this is a good shape. I think I might want to try to take this a little bit higher out here. Maybe if I go in with a kind of dense, small, like, not pencil brush, I don't know what this is, smoky eyeshadow brush. And just try to soften the edge up a little bit. I think, I think this is going kind of good. Maybe I will mess it up on this eye. You never know with me when I'm doing my halos. I'm going to try to have it kind of the same shape. And I have different eye shapes on my both eyes. I think the most of us do. So it doesn't always look like the same. But I'm trying to do it somewhat the same. And here I'm trying to not go in with as much shadow that I did on the outer part because I think it's a little bit harder to like blend in the inner part when you're doing a halo and not get it like everywhere. 
this halo is getting so much smaller than this eye. I think this is... I think I'm happy with this. So my plan was to take this... I want to say skull. Um, because it's an ö in this word, which is a Swedish letter. And uh, skull. 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 I don't know. But I don't know if it's going to be too dark. Because I have this one, but I don't think I want such a light. And if I swatch this, it is kind of dark and I don't know if it is darker than the shade I have. Not the skirts, but I think it, if I take Hattie, that is more like it. You know what, I actually think I will take this one. And I want to cut this halo. I don't know if I really need it, but I want. Can okay, I have shimmers everywhere? I don't want it to take up too much of my eyelid. I want it pretty, like, really in the center where I have. Yeah, I want to have more control over it. With. Can I just maybe have it like that? So I will take this skull. Shall skull? Uh. Skull. I will take this shade and maybe I will dab this astral over it a little bit in the middle later on. I don't know. So I take in my NYX glitter primer and I take it a little bit on my hand. You've seen this so many, many times. And I'm taking a small brush. I'm going to cut this halo. And I don't think just because you're using like a glitter primer, I think you can do it even if you have a really good shade. I don't think it has to do with that. For me that often is like if I want to have control over the shimmer, I'm going in with a glitter primer because if I not taking a little primer, I think this will go and maybe take over. So, okay. I'm going to tap the edges a little bit or tap where I have the matte shade and then I'm going in with this one. We will see how this will stick on. darker than the matte shade but I don't think that I really care it is a little bit more flaky a little bit more chunky than I wish I think it would be good if I would have taken something in my crease okay I'm going to pack this on a little bit more. And I'm trying to blend this a little bit here in my crease with the same brush and I'm getting like flakes all over. Okay, so I don't know what I think. For Halo, I don't think it's a problem if you're taking a darker shade in the middle. Sometimes I think it can look really cool, but I guess that is not how you are supposed to do Halo, but... Do you know what? I don't care. Now I have a cat hair. <sighs> okay, I'm not super happy with this. I don't know if I think it looks cool or if I don't like it at all. I actually don't know. I'm going in with a clean fluffier blending brush and I'm going to blend my whole crease. Yeah, I actually think that helped a little bit. 
I don't know if I want to go in with this super light this super light shimmer in the halo as well maybe take I don't know or maybe she just have it like this and then take that one really light shimmer in my crease my inner corner and like taking it really long way I think as normal I think I need my under eyes because it's very heavy and dark on my lid and I have no base on and I have a lot of shimmer specks underneath my eye and I just think I need everything to feel comfortable or like see the whole picture so I will cut this halo as well do my base and everything and do this look complete and we will see if I feel better when all that is done I think I will because right now I think the lid is so dark and heavy and I have nothing else on so I just think I need to do this look done to to like it so <laughs> I will fix everything and then I'll come back and we will see am I happy with it or am I not the second look is done for my wash line I did use kicker from Colourpop and on my lips I took Roam from Lethal and I'm just having a crisis with like lipstick I don't know what this is I don't know is like neutral lips my new thing I have no idea but <laughs> this is the second look with the Giant Wolves palette and I did use three colors. So I used Astral in my inner corners. This one, I want to say Skull. It sounds really strange. <laughs> in my Halo and Cosmos on the outer corners and inner corner and on my lower lash and this is a really nice blue shade and as you may know I do not like blue on myself but like this deeper blue that is almost looking like a black I think it suits me better and yeah this is the second look I don't know if I want to do a third look but there are some colors that I haven't used yet I haven't used or is it only one I haven't used this one and I don't think I used this one because in my first impression I think I used flare anti antipode and inhalation um <laughs> so it's like these two I haven't used I will see if I will do a third look but I think that I might want to do that because it has been really fun to play with this palette and I love that I can get like this deep of a look and I just think the shades worked really good. The shimmer was a little bit like too chunky, like some glitter particles. And I think I'm going to have it on my face for some days now because it went like everywhere. And uh, yeah, I, I like the look. I think the inner corner works good so it gets it a little bit lighter. But yeah, I do like this look, but I like the look, the first look more. So we will see, I'm 95% sure that I will do one more look, or maybe not. Because I want to have this video up soon, and I do not know if I'm going to film tomorrow, and it's going to take... Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> we just have to wait to see. Maybe this is the last look, or maybe I do a third. But if I'm not doing a third, I need to end this video here. Do you know what? I'm just going to do a third look with this. So, okay, yeah. If you want to see the last look, just keep on watching. It is time for the third look, and I think I'm going to try to do this super simple, maybe as I have done with the other two looks, but yeah, complicated looks is my number thing. And I don't know about this light, if it's annoying back there or not. I think I just go, I think it's annoying, but I don't, it has to be there. And also, I'm going to be a typical Swede. It is so cold outside, <laughs> even though it's not that cold outside, but like minus degree and we have snow and having snow in the south of Sweden isn't a normal thing. And I have been outside picking up a package and my nose, it can't stop 
yep, yeah, yeah, it's just a mess. So you just have to deal with it. I think it, hopefully it will end soon, but you never know. So, okay, I have some shades left that I haven't used yet. I think it's only this dark green matte and maybe this shimmer. I can't remember if I used this in my first impression, but my thought about this look is that I'm going to take this green all over my lid, then might go in with the glitter glue and take this shimmer on top of the green and might blend the edges out a little bit with this one. I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to try that. So I'm going to start with this matte green one and the sniffles. So I have just put in a retainer in my septum because it's so annoying now when it's getting colder to have a septum ring and it's getting pretty cold as well. So yeah, I'm going to take this one and I'm having a bigger fluffier brush. Don't know if that is a good idea, but it is what it is, so I'm just going to take this all over my lid. And I might deepen down my outer V with the, the black shade. I don't know yet. Okay, I do really like this green. I think it's a really nice one and it really is like... I put it down now. It feels like it just wants to stay here. Maybe I don't need to take the lighter green to blend it out. I think this will work. This is a really cool green shade. I do really like it. I think I could just like go like this because this is a really nice darker green. I do like this one and I feel like I don't need it was easy to blend up even with this brush this is a 304 from LH Cosmetics I think this looks really really good and I don't know if I need to go in with the black one but I think I actually will do it so I take a fluff a little a brush tap it in tap it in tap it off because this is really pigmented and just going to okay, maybe I can go in with a little bit more I wasn't intend to take this brush to do this but I still haven't cleaned my brushes so yeah and once again if you're wondering about being a little bit patched out here it's because my eyelid is dry I could actually like think to have it just like this, but I think I want to do a little cut crease maybe. Just a little bit in here. Or is that going to look strange? I don't know. Because this I do really like, like this, but I think I want some shimmer to it. But I don't know like how much and I don't think that I could. No, because I think if I just put this, this shimmer over it, this shimmer over it, it just will be some glitter specks but maybe okay so I'm going to try this I have done this once before with a glitter don't know how it will work with the shimmer they're playing with something I'm going to take a fluffy brush I'm going to dip it in to my glitter primer like tap it off and then I'm just going to like stamp like this all over my lid And then I'm going in with this shimmer shade. And this wasn't maybe a super good brush for this. And that is also Astrid. Yeah. 
She does some really strange sounds. Maybe something like this, so it doesn't get like that opaque, but you still have some shimmers. I saw this on Betty Jean or Betty Bean a long time ago. She did like this. And yeah, I really like it. It looks like a night sky. Yeah. I think this was a good plan. I'm just going to try to do it on this eye as well. So instead of having like too much of the shimmer. And like not that opaque. Because you just like stamping on the glitter primer. I love it when I like make it sound like I'm doing a tutorial. You should never go to me to learn things. Never. Never ever. Do you know what I actually think I will go over with this on the black? They have the shimmer like all over but it's not that opaque so both the black and the green are like peeking through. So I do really like this. I, I hope that you can see something. Maybe I should try to do a close up for like the first time ever. But yeah, I do like this eye so far. I'm, I have to take this away so I don't get it on my shirt. So I will take out the fallouts, fix my base and uh, everything. And then I come back with the finished fur look and also like my review on this. Now I have used it four times and I have used all the colors. So I will give a little bit of review on this one. So yeah, just let me fix this and I come back. This is the finished look for my watch line. I did use for white in uh, white smoke from NYX and on my lips I took Rubino, Rubino from Kaleidos and uh, it is a little bit patchy this lipstick but I do really like the color but yeah this is my third and uh, finished look with the giant wolf from Odin's eye and in its makeup corner and I did something right here I don't know it's a little bit messy here don't look at that but yeah I do really like this look I like how the shimmer is just it's not like full on it's just like maybe topper you could say I do really really like it so for this look I did use the black just to deepen down my outer corners, this desolate, de de desolate, this matte green one and hot this shimmer one and I, I do really really like this look and if we go into the review part more, I have used this four times, I have used all the colors and what I can say this is my first impression with Odin's eye. I have one more eyeshadow palette that I haven't tried yet, but this is the first eyeshadow palette I have used from Odin's eye. And I don't know if this is, <laughs> you won't see it, if this is the same as their other palettes. I can't answer that, but I know this, I don't think it's, it's exactly the same. I think they have some palettes that are as good as these club palettes and some that are not that good but the shimmers in these I think you get the like full the full good experience if you use a glitter primer or do you like use a concealer or something because they are kind of flaky and if you want to have control over them, I could really recommend a glitter primer. I do love this one from NYX. I have used one of these up and I think it is just so, so good. And that's what I would <laughs> recommend because I think that you are going to have the glitters everywhere. And also like this Eternal, this was so, so amazing. I think I used it in my first look. I did love that look and I really love that this 
palette has such deep colors. It may be missing some lighter colors, but I actually do not care at all. Now, I haven't used this blue one. I never came to that. No, so I have used all the colors except this. I think. Yeah. But all the other colors are good. And, and yeah, I think it's a good palette. And I love how dark it is. So yeah, this is... As my first impression of Odin's Eye, I think this is really good. This is though sold out. I think it's sold out during Black Friday or Black Week or Cyber Monday. Around Black Friday. And if the other palettes in this collab, they did three palettes. If the other two are the same formula, I can recommend them if you want the color story better. But yeah, I do really like this palette. It has been so fun to play with this. And the other palette I have, I'm going to see if I can take it, is Urd, this uh, mini palette with yeah, only five pants, six colors. And uh, I'm going to try this soon. And then I will know if it is the same formula but I do really like this palette I'm happy that I finally tried Odin's Eye because I it has been fun to play with this palette and don't forget to check out Annette and because she's amazing she's one of my friends and yes I might be a little bit biased but yeah it has been really fun to use this it has been fun to finally try Odin's Eye it is a Swedish indie brand and I am from Sweden so it feels Maybe a little bit special. Yeah, that was all for this video. I hope that you liked it. And I hope it doesn't get too long. But I think it will get pretty long. But yeah, I really hope you liked it. And if you want to see anything more with this palette. Please let me know. I will try to fix it then. And it will come a look with the Urud. I don't think it will be the next one. Because I think I need a little bit... Or want a little bit break from Ur no from Oda's eye. But I have some other palettes that I really want to use. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!